Hello, it's Sarah, and this is part three, guys, of these little summertime ATCs. So, at the end of the last video, I realized that I hadn't put words on, which I did want words, and I love it. I put Just Breathe on the little crabby one. I'll come in. Uh, choose to Shine, get it, it's a lighthouse, and Just Play, because you built a sandcastle, that's playing. So the first thing we're going to do is, now that everything's dry, everything's done, it's been outlined and uh, we want to add, I'm going to add micro beads. Now I, get my, I got these and I think there were only two sets, I'm trying to find the packaging, this, at Michael's. These are recollections and it says micro bead set. And I have two sets and I can't, okay, here's the other one. So I think I'm going to use some of the blue for the sky. I'm going to use this like copper for the sand and maybe some gold. So the sand is going to be where I'm going to put most of the um, micro beads. Yeah, I think that's good. I had this antique copper. I think that's a little dark. And then I'm just going to use stickles for the other parts. But you don't want to put your stickles on first because that's glue. And so you want to wait till the end for that. I'm going to use a little Tupperware or Rubbermaid or whatever type of kind of holder thing you have. And I'm going to rub my, uh, what is this, a stamp buddy or something it's called. Just because these micro beads get really staticky. And let's just jump in and do this guy first. So I'm just going to wipe it down with my stamping buddy and I'm going to use um, glossy accents. You can use, I also have, I don't know where it is, this, Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, but I'm just going to use my glossy accents and hopefully it'll, nope, I didn't fart it. I, I call it farting it, but you have to kind of clear the nozzle before you put it away. So very gently, Add some, and we'll do the blue. I'm going to add a little blue here on the corner, and maybe a little here and here. Just a little. <clears throat> and I'm going to hold this over, and I'm going to sprinkle these blue micro beads onto the glossy accents. Give it a shake and a tap, and look. I'm excited. So I'm going to do this to all while I'm working with the blue. I'm going to do all three. And see, I'm going to put a little here in the corner and maybe just at the horizon line. Although I did put that pink glitter, the like um, neon glitter on the horizon lines. I just love the way the micro beads look. And if you do it in kind of a like, you know, look how that looks because of the way the glue went down. That's what you want. You want it to be kind of, so kind of, and I love this part though. So I'm going to put some along the edge and then kind of out down here and around the sun and then just a little here. And it sticks wherever I put the glue. OMG. I love it. Okay. Sorry, I get very excited. Now, what I did to put these back in the bottle, which they will get away from you, so be careful. Make sure you're capping your lids, but I made a little funnel. And somebody, some of you might have a funnel. I don't know. I never had a funnel. But I am going to take off the lid and put this end of the funnel in the thing and then because we used our beading buddy or whatever that thing is called and you give it a tap but it's very staticky because of the plastic you can shake them loose and they're coming 
and generally just give it a wipe because I don't like to mix my colors and I'll just dump this in the trash like give it a real good tap and just clear it out so that's good now I want to do the sand so let me take my little one here and it's it'll dry fast but it's not immediately dry so give it don't try not to touch where you just did I'm gonna do this copper on the low lights so I'm gonna put that kind of in the darker areas and then I'll put the gold in the middle where the highlights are so glossy accents I'm gonna put some here and here and maybe here and along the bottom I think that might be enough let's do copper now try not to touch your blue just hold it from the sides oh my god it's so pretty look at that OMG now I'm just gonna put a little bit of gold up oh, we can't we can't put the gold yet cuz we're gonna do all the copper first then you have to unless you have another tub but I'm gonna put this in the dark sections again so oh, I just touched the blue but it's pretty much dry so mainly down the sides um, and along the bottom and this corner copper I haven't used the oh some of the copper got on the blue oh good it didn't stick and see that's the thing it, it won't stick like that's pretty much dry the blue part OMG I just love using this stuff sorry I get so excited so I'm going to do down the side and along the bottom and just a little here. How about on the castle somewhere, huh? In the door? That's good. Yeah, just stay away from the blue if you can help it. But they bounce all over. That's why it's good to have a, at least a little bit of a deep OMG. That is so cute. Look, my gosh. All right, so now we can put this color away, and then we'll finish it off with the gold. So I will go away and finish the gold, and then I'll come back and we'll do stickles. OMG you guys look so I got a little crazy I think on this one with the light gold ones well the gold but look at the dimension it adds and I just think it's so cool to add so the next thing I'm gonna do that's enough microbeads we're gonna just add stickles so I have my stardust I'm gonna just kind of draw with it make sure you and just take it and go because we already painted the clouds with uh, pearlescent paint so you don't need too much but you know hey a little stickles isn't doesn't hurt anything so I'm going to put it on that so like one shell and the clouds. And I'm just kind of scribbling it. I'm not filling the cloud. I like the look of that for some reason. This one has a lot more clouds. I did shade the clouds with a little bit of charcoal along the bottom. And I shaded the white with the charcoal along the sides on the um, lighthouse. Uh, what else? 
else. Okay, I think I'm good with the white. I'm going to put some green on the palm trees. And I'm using, because I shaded the palm tree with a dark green, I'm just going to touch a little bit of this light green, eucalyptus it's called. Oops, I don't want to touch to the kind of the top area. I haven't used these in a while. That's why I keep pins on my desk so I can just kind of open that up. And just kind of make a line. Come on. There we go. Where that highlighted area would be. So not where the, um, let me just grab a Q-tip. Just subtle, not, don't overwhelm it. I guess there isn't very much left in here. I must have loved this color. Yeah, I can't get it out. I don't want to use the dark green. Oh, I had enough. Hold on. Don't want to use the dark green. Like I said, I'm just trying to highlight, give a little sparkle. And that's the only green I have. Um, I kind of want to do the red. But, you know, crabs are, um, they're like, they look shiny. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I have the Distress Stickles. This is called Vintage Photo, and it's like a very sandy color. I've used this for sand before. So I definitely want to put this on my pail, right, kind of on the sand of the pail. And again, I'm just going to rub it all around, not like don't make it thick make it really thin and I think I'm going to put it on the sand castle like along the bottom here and again I'm, I'm not kind of painting it on with my with the nib I'm not trying to make it uh, so kind of in hmm Maybe a little under the windows. Just here and there for texture. And supposedly, um, Tim Holtz made his stickles with mica instead of glitter. So, I don't know. But I watched a whole thing on uh, Distress Stickles one time. So I'm kind of just rubbing it in with my Q-tip, like... Anywho, it'll make texture and let's see if there's some place I want to do it on this one. No, I think I'm good. Uh, I knew I just wanted to do the sand that was in the bucket. And then I think the crabs are my last, and the sun. Maybe a little yellow stickles, do I have it? Yes, I do. This is a very bright yellow, so I'm going to put this on my sons again just very scra oh, scratchy not like solid which I mean you could do it solid I don't know why I'm not doing it solid but I think it's because the whoops well that came out a little solid because the microbeads might kind of seem overwhelming I don't know I'm an I go big or go home that's how I roll I don't think there's ever too much sparkle. So, if you think there's too much sparkle, don't do it, okay? And how about in the windows of the lighthouse or here? A little bit here. And I really wanted to do something with that. Maybe the red, I have red stickles too. Um, Thought I did, yeah I do. I use this a lot at Christmas time. But I don't really need it. Ah, uh, no, because I think I'm gonna do just glossy accents. I'm gonna paint it onto my crabs. So I'll show you. But do I wanna put nope, I don't think I really do. I think that's plenty. 
I'm going to do a little squirt, oh excuse me, of glossy accents. I squirt it out on my palette and then I'm going to grab a little, I'll use which one here? This one. This is the one that I use for Mod Podge, so it's already kind of a crusty, older brush. And I just want to do my crabs. So I'm going to get them a little shiny. And what else? I think I'm needing to sign it and call it done. See how he just got a shine, his little eyes. They need to be involved. It like magnifies it when you add this. Can you see that? Alright, so that's it guys. That was three parts, but you know what? If you are already very good at backgrounds, you didn't need that. If you're already good at floating, you didn't need that. And I just had to share this extra embellishments part. And you can add brads and metal pieces and charms. You know, that's one of the things I love about um, your ATC store. Uh, is an online store for um, ATC kits. Oh, I just put it right in the glossy accents. Um, she usually adds a charm in there. A little bit of ribbon. So I'm going to put it on him, and I think I'm going to put it on his shell. His shell just needs help. It doesn't look as perky. I like it. So, let's see what we got here. I'm going to sign them on the back. Choose to shine. Can you see those microbeads? I'm going to put these in little sleeves so they'll be all protected. But look at my, like the light part of the lighthouse and now the sun. See, on my other ones, I put the microbeads instead of. Um, which one was my favorite? I think this one. Um, instead of putting stickles on the sun I put microbeads because I didn't use that gold color anywhere else on here and then I used this is the liquid pearls so I did I decided because I wanted the mast to kind of have like a rounded look to it so it has like a raised so whatever the the tool is that you're using you can get different looks so I mean I could use liquid pearls to do something but I, I think it's enough I just really am in love with the microbeads. So this one says choose to shine. And it is shining. This one says just play. I think it, the texture that the Tim Holtz uh, distress stickles put on there, I should have just painted the whole thing with it because I think it would have been cool to see what that did. But I love it. Okay, and then last but not least, just breathe. I love them so much. So that's what a little stamping and painting and blinging can do, guys. So I hope you enjoyed these. I did. I really did. I've had so much fun for the past couple days making these. And I hope you will too. All right? Thanks for watching.